Hi there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday, where this week we're going to be learning how to calculate our inventory shrinkage rate. So to do that, we're going to be subtracting, we're going to be dividing, and we're going to be using an if error formula. Now, we're not going to dig into what inventory shrinkage rate is in this video, but if you want more information on what your inventory shrinkage rate is and what it actually means, you can visit the links in the description below and they'll take you to Lean Strategies International LLC's website where you can learn more about inventory shrinkage rate. Also, we're using Google Sheets, which is part of the Google Workspace platform. If you're not familiar with Google Workspace, it's a powerful productivity platform that has a lot of great tools at your business can use and even that you can use at home. So check the link in the description below if you want to learn more about Google Workspace and sign up for one of the plans that's a lot more powerful than just the basic one. Let's jump right in. So inventory shrinkage rate, we really just need two pieces of data when we're using Google Sheets. And that's kind of nice because um, we can just put them in and it'll automatically do the conversions where if you're calculating it manually There's an extra step you might need to do so those two pieces of data are your recorded inventory and your actual inventory So first of all, we're going to go ahead and format these columns a and B To be a currency and then we're going to format column C to be a percentage and that way we don't have to multiply uh, column C by 100. It'll make our formula a little bit simpler. So let's open our function up by hitting the equal sign. Then we're going to type in if error and we're going to open a bracket and then we're going to put another bracket because we're going to chain a few things together. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our function up to subtract our actual inventory on hand from our recorded inventory. And the way we do that is by selecting uh, cell A, A2, and we're going to put in our subtract sign, and cell B2. And we're going to close this. We're going to put in a divide sign, and we need to divide that answer by the recorded inventory. So we're going to come back over here and select cell A2. Then we're going to hit comma. Now we're going to put in what we want to show up if there's an error. So if we have an error, we'd rather that it just showed up blank. And then we'll close that out, hit equal. <clears throat> then we're going to copy this, this function right here. We're going to select the entire column C and we're going to paste it in there. And then we'll just come back and clean this up a little bit by typing in inventory shrinkage rate. And once we have that done, then we can test our sheet out. And so let's look at an example here. We've got, let's say we have $150 recorded inventory in our books and we've counted our inventory and we actually only have $100 on hand. So that would be a 33.33% inventory shrinkage rate. Let's try another one. Let's say we got $1,000 of inventory that we have recorded in the books and we actually only have $509 on hand. So our shrinkage would be 49.10%, which is really bad. Now a typical rate is going to be more like $1,000 on hand and maybe $975 actually on hand, which is 2.5%. Even that shrinkage rate is a little bit high. And that's it. That's how you calculate inventory shrinkage rate in Google Sheets. And remember, check the links in the description below if you want more information. And we'll see you right back here next time on Lean Strategies International, LLC.